portrait of the sleep deprived. Got your delivery here, man. Oh, what? Kingston Kitchen. Oh, yes. Right. Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry. I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break on it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the runs that are dealer or not. Tyrell Security will have a disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Your floor number, please. McCoy, LPD. Uh, just a minute. Where do I go? Grav test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendooler ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series, the kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for last year's infamous Lolita model, a big hit with the all-important dirty old man market. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed, not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Jesus. I seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. This earring yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here, the babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. Lagging behind again? Kusa didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still putting the pieces together. It's all stored in Esper's mainframe. You hear about the Moonbus massacre? Gaff mentioned it. Could be our cases are overlapping. I might keep you posted. 
do that. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendoller's Moo Moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. Go, baby. Dinner time. Scanning video disc. Two enhanceable images found. Scanning video disc. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that.